Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at Solomon the Scholar, uh, one of the four shells in the New Mortal Shell game. Um, so in this video, we are going to be looking at his basic stats, his abilities and different ways you can use them. And perhaps more importantly, we're gonna show you how to find and unlock Solomon the Scholar. So without further ado, we shall jump into the stats. Okay, so these are the core stats uh, of Solomon the Scholar. Um, as you can see, uh, just looking at his bars here, he's got pretty good durability, um, a good um, amount of health, just middling stamina, so you need to be quite efficient with what you're doing with him. Uh, where this guy stands out though is Resolve, um, which is completely maxed out. So um, if you noticed when we were just doing the intro to this video, you would have seen um, how many uh, resolve bars he had. So you'd be able to use lots of special attacks, lots of empowered riposts with this guy, uh, making him very powerful indeed. Uh, making it all the more important as well that uh, your parry game is strong just to keep those resolve bars full. Um, so we'll have a look at his um, abilities as well. So we'll start down here. So the creation of yearning. So when talking to an NPC, Solomon gains a segment of resolve, uh, accretion of foresight. Uh, Solomon becomes familiar with items more quickly and gains a glimpse on reading lore for the first time. Uh, accretion of dominance. So the duration of time, the duration of time, enemies remain hardened when you are separated from Solomon is increased. That's a very overly complicated way of saying you have more time to get back into your shell uh, when you get knocked out of it. So that's quite useful. The accretion of resolve, when holding a sacred gland, Solomon gains 25 maximum health. When not holding a gland, Solomon gains one maximum resolve segment. Uh, now, I've, I've, I'm about five hours into the game, and I haven't found a, uh, a gland uh, as, as of yet, so I don't know how common they are, if I'm honest. Um, the accretion of endurance, so Solomon has a chance to heal on using a weapon ability to slay an enemy. Creation of Ascent, so killing an enemy with an empowered riposte has a chance to restore or resolve. So um, that's an absolutely massive uh, one there, giving you a chance just to trigger ability after ability after ability. And the creation uh, of Inheritance, so Solomon gains a small amount of resolve when being struck while hardened. Uh, then, as ever, We've got um, the three generic ones. So we've got the Recollection of Death, um, Regaining Last Chance Upon Defeating Enough Foes, the Recollection of Knowledge, so Hardening the Air um, to create a devastating area of impact upon landing. But Solomon specific is where he gains resolve when a struck is uh, when a foe is struck by the blast. So once again, if you use that in a big crowd, that's going to get you loads of uh, resolve back, enabling you to use lots more special abilities. And uh, finally, the re uh, recollection of strength, so you can uh, use a kick to put your enemies off balance. Uh, so they are the abilities and stats of Solomon the Scholar. Okay, and uh, last but not least, we'll show you where to find Solomon, uh, where to find his shell, uh, so you can pick it up. Now, as with the other shells we've uh, looked at in the series, you can get little hints to give you an idea of where he is. So in Fulgrim Tower, once again, you're just going to go to the tomb and going to click on the, um, uh, what's it, sort of like a ghostly outline of the shell that you're looking for, and it'll give you some hints. So as you've seen here, um, it's giving us um, an idea of where this shell is. And this shell is, it take about a minute to get to it. It's really, really easy. It's po quite possibly the first extra shell you'll pick up because uh, it's really, really near to Fulgrim Tower. So to get to the uh, shell of Solomon, all we need to do is first of all exit uh, the Fulgrim Tower and head straight across uh, this open ground. Now just be aware of the animal traps on the floor because you can get stuck. And then in this next area there is a boss. Uh, we You can fight him if you want to, we don't have to. Just leg it past him down this little ramp. And then you need to smash through these logs crawl through. Now there is an enemy when you get through here as well. It's quite straightforward though. I think on this particular character we're watching, it's only been in the game for 11 minutes, so very little has been unlocked. 
and we're just going to power down. Just hammer, we're not blocking, parrying, no need to do any of that. Just keep swinging. And there you go, there's Solomon Scholar. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you were struggling to find him, you've realised how just how easy it is and you don't have to mess around with that boss. Um, if you're struggling to find the others, please check out our other guides in our Mortal Shell uh, playlist. There's all sorts of uh, good stuff in there. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.